She's like, do you want some yogurt? <laughs> Bring in the next photo! <laughs> I have friends. You have no friends. You aren't part of any of clubs. <laughs> That's so cute. That's actually a really cute thought. <laughs> <Yeah. that>. Aww. <laughs> Wish you could dinner sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste, everyone. Namaste, everyone. Aap kaise hai? Maybe it's cool. They didn't ask you. <laughs> <laughs> they, they asked me. They asked you. Okay, okay. Um, well, we... <laughs> I'm <laughs> Steven here. This is Steven, this is Avanti, and um, if you are new here, hello and welcome. And uh, to all the parathas, what do you want to say to the parathas? Mm. Avanti ka Avanti ke paratha? Parathe? Parathe bohot achche hai. Avanti ke parathe bohot achche hai, I don't know. I'm going to say that you log. क्या टेस्ट बहुत अच्छा है क्योंकि आपका टेस्ट और मेरा टेस्ट एक जैसा है दैट्स सो क्यूट दैट्स एक्चुअली रियली क्यूट दैट ओ नो दैट्स क्यूट वेल इस वीडियो का नाम है हाउ वी मेट और मोर स्पेसिफिकली हाउ आई मेट दिस गोरा या हाउ आई मेट दिस गोरा यू आर क्यूट ब्रिंग इन द नेक्स्ट गोरा वी बीन टुगेदर फॉर 4 इयर्स together for four years and uh, a lot of you have asked us to share our love story slash how we met um, we met over four years ago yep. at college uh, mm -hmm. we both went to Harvard Stephen was class of 2017 I was class of 2020 so Heli Haftime you have this thing called orientation week where you're meeting different people trying to join different clubs and you know some mil chulke mil rahe so Outside the freshman dining hall, which is called Annenberg, mm. I I walk there and I see this this man, boy, child, man sitting gora. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm a very gora, hey, na. You're like, how many gora ne, hey, na. I see him sitting there at this table, lonely. Um, there was nobody standing around him true. with flyers. Yeah, that's mm. why I went up to you. Otherwise, I would have ignored him. Sure. <laughs> okay. You know, I was trying to uh, introduce Avanti to a club that I was a part of that I loved. But let me give that you that he founded. That I founded. Yeah, that I founded. And I introduced the club to her. I said, "Hey, here's this club. Would you be interested in participating?" And then she said, "No, sorry, I'm too busy." Which is a really interesting thing to say when you're on your fourth day of school. It's like how could you possibly be filled with things to do when you have like no friends? You like have don't have, are part of I have friends. You have no friends. You aren't I part of any of clubs. <laughs> anyway, so she totally rejected me, and I. Um, but she was very cute. And then and then actually one kind of random thing happened where a friend, this guy Ian, walked by and he's like, "Oh my God, Avanti, you have the voice of an angel," and I was like. Do you want to join my club? And, he, and then he did join my club. Yeah, he, actually, he, 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 he joined my club. He joined my club. That was, that was successful. <laughs> that was successful. Firstly, I listened to his whole pitch, and I wasn't rude about it. I just said that I don't think I have time. I wasn't rude about it. <laughs> and I said that he looked familiar. You actually did look familiar. We have proof. We were Facebook yeah, friends. Yeah, we were. She Realized. was like, "Oh my god." Are you Jesse Eisenberg? We got talking about gap year stuff. Yep. And uh, I will talk about my gap year at some point, but I was really passionate about gap years because I loved mine and uh, I heard about this organization called the Gap Year Society. And mm. I talked to Steve and I was like, do you know anybody who runs it? Because I've been trying to contact them. And then he's like, actually I do. Oh my God, yeah, you should get involved. <laughs> I finally said yes to one of them. And this was a group dinner. Actually, with people from that same group at the club that you founded, yeah. like you would host Frank these dinners, Frank and Fellowship dinners, yeah. and uh, I remember showing up there. I was. <laughs> she was like, pretty dope club you got here. <laughs> I didn't say that. The people who came to that dinner uh, were a lot of your close friends. Yeah. And I just remember being like, wow, these are really quality people. And in my mind, the people you surround yourself with says a lot about who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. so I was like, hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I started labeling you as cool senior guy to my friends. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So all of this happened, then eventually we organized this event for gap year stuff. And the event mm -hmm. went really well. 
And then when everybody left, we cleaned up. And then at the end, we like we, we hugged for quite a long time in my mind. I was like, that's a really long hug. Mm. Um, and then after the hug, Steven looks at me, he's like, he's like, hugs me, and then looks at me, he's like, so we should really get dinner sometime. <laughs> <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, how much of a book card is he? Like, how much do you like to eat? Because you're asking me to dinner so many times. I wish you could dinner sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I was part of a class freshman year where we got to go see theater all across Boston for free every week. And uh, that weekend I was going to see this show called The Donkey Show. So I mentioned that to Steven over text, being like, oh, my classmates and I are going to see The Donkey Show. Saturday morning, which is the day we're going to see it, he sends me a message being like, I'm going to The Donkey Show tonight, by the way, with my sister. What time are y'all going? So we were going to the later one, we were going to the yeah. 10 p.m. showing. So he's like, oh, cool, I might be there. I'll let you know. And I was like, okay. Cool. Yeah. Let me just give you context. This was the show where you usually show up a little bit, you know, inebriated. Like people there were drunk a little bit because it's one of those kinds of things which they enjoyed. Anyway, I don't drink, so I showed up there completely sober, and everybody's like, "Oh, we're having such a good time." Um, and then I, I see Stephen. So I was like, "Okay, I should like probably go say hi." So we went and said hi. And then he went to go find his sister so that I could meet her. He has an mm -hmm. older sister mm -hmm. and she was in town visiting. And so all my, all my classmates come up to me and they're like, oh, he's so cute, get his number. I was like, he's my friend, I you know, already have his number. Many of them thought that I met him at this club because the yeah. show was at a club. So they just thought there was this random Gora at this club hitting on me. Um, they're also Gora, just to be clear, yeah. like Gora. <laughs> most of them are Gora. <laughs> most of them are Gora, <laughs> so it's not like... Can I tell this part of the story? Sure, of This course. is the best part of the story. Okay. Because everyone knows what's happening except Avanti. It's it's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, so there's two friends, uh, Miranda and Martin. And then, so Miranda, like, first is like, she like, she kind of sees that like Avanti and I are hang like hanging out and she's like, oh, hey, I should go, I should go back to my dorm. And Avanti's like, oh no, you should want to like hang out some more? And Miranda's like, nope. I'm tired. And Martin's like, Marvin. Marvin. Marvin's like, oh, I'm not that tired. We can still hang out. She's like, no, nope, I'm pretty tired. And Marvin's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really tired too. I, I didn't know. Well, like, I knew this was going on, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, he's like, I should also go. He's like, but you guys, you guys should hang out. Pointing to me and Avanti. And, and, and so I'm like, oh, yeah, sleep. Sleep well, guys. And Avanti's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry that you guys are so tired. <laughs> but like, sleep well, I guess. And then, and then Avanti's like, and then Avanti says to me, I still never forget, she's like, hey, um, do you want to come to my room? And I'm, this is after they left. And I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, she's so forward. <laughs> I was like, I've never been more attracted to her. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, okay. Um, I'm like, this is happening. I'm like, oh, I didn't expect this, but I'm like, okay. I was like, get it together, Steven. So she's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, yeah, 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 I have a single. And I'm like, meaning, meaning a gala room. She, I didn't have any room. Yeah, by herself. Yeah. A gala room. No, a gala. A gala. A gala camera. A She's like, I a pass. A gala camera. Hey. But anyways, so then, she, then I'm like, okay, it's happening. And then she, then she takes me to like her dorm. She walks me up and then she like enters the room and I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, this is happening. And then she like walks in and I'm like, okay, like, sh should I kiss her? Like, she's like standing close to me. I'm standing close to her. I'm like, okay, I'll make the move. And then she's like, hey, Steven. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, do you want some yogurt? And I'm like, oh my God, she's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> This was gogurt, which this is, is this you yeah. know, flavored dahi, which you eat in a packet, mostly. Mostly between the ages of like seven to nine. <laughs> I mean, it, clearly he was thinking something very different and I was thinking something Yeah, different. our expectations were very different. I was going by the principle that, you know, atiti devo bhava, someone's coming to my house, so I should treat them well and treat offer them, them well. food. And I was following the principle of an American college where if you invite someone to your, <laughs> to your single dorm room, it implies something very specific, but 
That was not to be the case. <laughs> I did have some gogurt though. So you did have some <laughs> gogurt. Nice, yeah. And then we ended up talking for, for hours. Yeah, we hung out the whole night. We just hung out the whole night and we were just talking and... And then the funny thing happened was that I made the mistake of making plans. My parents were in town, my sister, the next morning at like 7.30 a.m. So I think I slept for like 40 minutes that night. And then I, when I walked to the, the breakfast place and I was like, so tired, just <laughs> exhausted. And my sister was so pumped. She was like, Stevie, that was the best dance party of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I loved it. It was the first time uh, I was, I felt like I could talk to any, to a person about anything. You know, I felt, Totally mm. comfortable and safe, mm. and it was the first time I felt like that. And so I felt uneasy, being like, "What is this feeling? Like, how is this possible?" Mm. You know, um, it's just like you feel like you've come home. Mm. And kairwala feeling basically is is what I felt, and so that scared me a lot. Um, yeah. And so yeah, basically. And I felt like I'd gone home, but like the home of a seven-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> there was a brief moment where I was like, "Hmm, he's you know." cute and I think I might be into him but then at that literally at that moment for the next few days silence he didn't text me nothing and I was like well I'm clearly an idiot um this is nothing whatever and then uh he messages me out of the blue being like hey Vati do you want to go for a bike party I was like what in the world is that um and this was meant to be a Friday the night before it was a Thursday and I was having a concert. This is my first concert at Harvard. Though I'd invited him and some of his friends as well. So he said, oh, by the way, I'll see you at the concert. So I was like, okay, you don't talk to me for five days and then you show up mm. at my concert or whatever. I was, you know, not really. So then the concert happens. <laughs> oh, I jump at stage. I, I love being on stage and I, I think I'm most confident on stage and you know, it's, mm. I just, that's my place. And, <clears throat> I couldn't make eye contact with Steven the whole time. I found myself purposely avoiding him. It was him. pretty funny. <laughs> so then uh, he's like, oh, I'll see you tomorrow. And I was like, cool. I didn't know what to expect. I did not think it was a date because I asked him, I said, who else is coming? And he said, oh, just a bunch of my friends. And I'm like, okay, not a date, not a date. But so our first date was 12 hours long and it involved a bike ride, Doctor Strange, tea, and Ryan Gosling. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong. I can make this sound much more interesting. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It involves a bike party, a kiss, and a face injury. Yeah. <laughs> stay okay, tuned. stay tuned. So if, stay you tuned. Know, <laughs> if you want to know the story of our first date, it's actually very long and also very funny. Um, let us know in the comments below. And please let us know what you want Stephen to learn by the next time he's on here, like what phrase? Yeah. How do you say that? Ha, to make make kya sikhu? Ab batao ki Steven kya sikhe, aur tab tak hum we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this. We hope it was entertaining and. Jaldi milte hain. I said it like that. You said it really badly. Do it again. I said it like Borat. Do it again. Speaking of Jaldi milte hain. Okay. Jaldi milte hain. Yeah. We will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.